What's up, guys? It's your boy Kid Fighter with Fighter Dakota TV checking in. Here, bring you guys some breaking news about this Takashi Six Nine case. Now, in seventy-two hours, it's official. He will be a free man. He will be released from federal custody, and the federal government and the DA have officially come to terms to give you know what I'm saying the decision-making process to give Takashi Six Nine time served. And like I said previously, he will be out seventy-two hours, so sometime this week. Probably by Wednesday, give or take. Like over the course of the year, past couple of weeks, couple of months, you know what I'm saying, during the whole process, Takashi, his lawyer, his attorney team, and family, everybody involved on his behalf has been working diligently and hard in the courtroom to get that boy out there. You know what I'm saying? And here recently, Takashi, he wrote a long, lengthy, you know, letter to the judge, basically pleading for his freedom, you know what I'm saying? Uh, quite a lengthy letter. You know, and uh, I think his baby mom's, his girlfriend, one of the two, his girlfriend, she also wrote a letter, you know what I'm saying, to the judge pleading for his freedom. And like I say, they don't, don't fold, they just been really working overtime, and it looks like he finna reap his rewards in their regard, and uh, also cooperating with the feds as far as snitching on his team, Trey Wade. But essentially, what does this mean for Takaji 6 9 as far as his career really come out? You know, fresh back on the bullshit like he was before he went in with the troll and all that. Is he gonna get back straight to the music? If he does, you know, um, how would that work? Will he succeed? Will he plummet? Will he be back on the charts? You know, uh, of course he did have it a solid fan base, his core fan base was gonna ride with him regardless. You know what I'm saying, right or wrong. But my question is, will he be? Will he have the same amount of success before all this shit happened? You know. And as far as his protecting the witness program, will he take we take the help from the government or is he gonna, you know, have his own bodyguards, have his own artillery like he was saying, but you know, doing this whole ordeal. It's just a lot of questions and we just gotta find out a way to see till he get out, you know. But I'm pretty sure once he get out he'll be late he'll lay low for at least a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Before he even get into anything, period. That's just my opinion on it. And that's what I think would be the smartest thing to do for him anyway. You know, but, uh, hey, it's, my, it's, his, it's his decisions. Whatever choice he made while he was in there, got him in a predicament, you know what I'm saying, and for him to get out as far as cooperating with the feds, you know, street code, street, the, the game don't go with that. They ain't rocking with that. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, to each his own. Each his own, but we just gonna have to see. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Leave y'all comments. I also need for y'all to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for you, boy. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this situation as it continue to unfold. This is probably finna be a busy end of the year as far as him. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of news related stuff coming out, it sure has been a busy year since he's been in. But we'll I'm gonna keep you guys updated on it. In the meantime, it's Kid Fader with Fader Cards TV signing off.